Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The most recent spoilers for Days of Our Lives from Monday, July 22nd, to Friday, August 2nd, are here. When the temperature drops in New York, the double wedding does precisely what these things always do in Salem, that is, it goes south faster than our granny who despises winter. In other scenes, Holly receives unsettling news, Gabby and Stefan reconcile, and Xander confides in Maggie about the person they both loved and lost. In today's recap, Teresa is forced to acknowledge her own transgressions when Xander's mother, Fiona, admits he is Victor's kid. In addition, Brady befriends Ava and later Fiona as drinking companions. A distraught Teresa grabs her street clothing while still wearing her bridal dress. Alex felt that everything in his life was going really well. But after this day is done, he'll learn that everything has altered completely. Teresa's ideal wedding becomes a nightmare from which she is unable to awaken, and she may even wish that she had become a runaway bride. In today's recap, Gabby discovers Connie in Rafe's room, and Everett's actions lead Jada and Stephanie to question whether he is indeed Everett. Gabby looks seriously at Stefan from her bed, a cover draped around her bare chest. Jada meets Everett in what can only be called an unusual situation. Thanks to Kristen, Ava finds herself in a somewhat unpleasant situation. We're willing to wager that Brady is involved, since both women have some sort of relationship with him. Gobby's release caused Stefan and her to encounter a significant obstacle, but it appears that today will bring these two crazy youngsters back together. It looks like Connie never thought of talking to a dead guy as the greatest idea, so she's going to have to change her original plan a little. Has Rafe become the new beau after the show ended? This is our meaning. In today's recap, Marlena and Kayla start to have doubts about Everett, and Connie makes progress with Gabby. Gabby has her arms crossed and is facing Connie in a hospital room. Rafe is connected to a ventilator and is unconscious. Will everything come together when Gabby locates Connie in an inappropriate place? Everett's most recent actions have Stephanie and Jada on high alert. Is body and soul's future in danger? About Abe's favorite soap opera, Kate has some news for him. In today's recap, Brady discovers the extent of Teresa's destruction as he awakens to Fiona. In addition, EJ makes a threat to inform Holly that Eric killed her father. At the Salem Inn, Fiona is dressed in a robe and is offering aspirin and water. From bed, a drowsy and partially nude Brady stares up at her. Between Eric and EJ, who are vying for Nicole's future, Nicole finds herself trapped in the middle. But when Nicole visits Holly and gives her some news that could transform her life, things could be different. What effect will this have on Tate and Holly's summer romance? Teresa had to know that Xander would eventually show up in search of clarification. All right, here is the moment. When Alex's resentment overwhelms him, Sarah tries her best to console him. In today's recap, Fiona tells Sarah why she left Xander behind and Teresa gets ready to turn herself in. Teresa looks with teary eyes. Her eyes are smudged with makeup. Because of what has happened recently, Xander is in shock and finds himself talking to Maggie about his history with Victor. Teresa is full of remorse, and she could surprise Brady and Alex after all. After receiving news that could change her life, Holly begs her mother Nicole not to completely ruin everything. Alex and Justin manage to move past their current problems. Teresa is still attempting to decide what to do after having her secrets revealed on her wedding day, which was painful. However, Andrew's offer might influence her to take a different course. Is Eric and Nicole's happily ever after finally happening? It would seem so, since they all bid their loved ones farewell before leaving town. To be very honest, moving away from the location where their relationship was frequently put to the test may be their only chance at happiness. Naturally, Holly and Tate are left to wonder just what Nicole's departure means for their budding romance. Are Marlena and Kayla planning a career change? If they choose to accept Abe's offer, it might be. Paulina has appointed Jada to a new position, so she is ready to take on a new task. Soon after, in an attempt to learn more about the killing of Lee Shin and the assault on Rafe, she finds herself questioning Bobby slash Everett. There's a familiar person approaching. And what makes them come forward? 
Abe and Kate are hosting an open casting call for Body and Soul. It appears that Crazy Connie is going to launch another attack. But this time, who will she be hitting out at? And just how lethal will her blow be? As Ava's paranoia grows, Kristen tries to reassure her, of all people. Leo determines that calling a friend is his best course of action. Despite having had a difficult few months, Stefan and Gabby decide to celebrate. As it happens, Connie loves to play video games a lot. What other reason could there be for her to play with Ava? In relation to Ava, Gabby has some inquiries for Stefan on his interactions with Harris's former partner. It's possible that history will repeat itself when Stephanie finds herself having an intimate moment with Everett, the man who crushed her heart. As Chad and Jack get at least a little bit closer to discovering the truth, the quest for Abigail continues. We may have all been waiting for this moment as Chad and Jack reveal a startling revelation. Oh, is it you, Abigail? Sarah believes that Xander need to work on making amends with his mother. However, that might not be as simple as it seems. After tumbling off the wagon once more, Brady attempts to gather himself. John is away atoning for his past transgressions, and Eric is out of town with Nicole, so Marlena will definitely be happy to have Paul around to lend his support. Kristen remarked, I wouldn't do that to Ava. What about Ava? inquired Ava as she entered. Kristen clarified that she had told Stefan of Ava's collaboration with Gabby. It's official, Ava declared, setting the document down on Kristen's desk. Kayla and Stephanie talked over brunch at the pub. I really thought that, Teresa, had turned a corner, Kayla stated. Stephanie concurred. Kayla was informed by Stephanie that although she had consoled Alex following the wedding, he had been a wreck. When Kayla inquired about the likelihood of Stephanie and Alex rekindling their romance, Stephanie emphasized that their relationship was over. That's right. You and Everett are back together now that he's been released from Bayview, right? replied Kayla. Stephanie said, that's history, too, actually. Everett had informed Stephanie that he wasn't prepared for a committed relationship, Stephanie clarified. That's understandable. He might just want to focus on his mental health, stated Kayla. Stephanie acknowledged her disappointment while agreeing. Everett is a great guy, and I'm going to miss him. Even if it seems he won't miss me, Stephanie stated. According to Stephanie, Everett had been glad to call it quits. Kayla inquired, what are you talking about? Before Kayla arrived, Stephanie told her about her chat with Everett. Stephanie stated, he was so cold and so dismissive. Kayla advised Stephanie not to be offended by Everett's actions. I'm sure it is just really disorienting to be back, you know? Kayla replied. Stephanie concurred. I'm glad that Everett is himself again. He deserves to live a life he chooses for himself, Stephanie stated. Kayla conveyed her admiration for Stephanie. Kayla groaned, realizing her break was ended. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.